I'm going to show everyone how to use the dot filter weathering technique using acrylic paint instead of oils. And I'm going to do this on a uh, Sci-Fi Alien hover tank kit. Uh, first things first, when you uh, do the uh, dot weathering technique, after you get your model painted, you will need to uh, seal it. And you can seal it with uh, Future or uh, like Tester's Gloss Coat or a uh, uh, Krylon Crystal Clear. You just want a good sealer. You don't want to, uh, basically, you're fading the colors, but you don't want to uh, uh, fade the paint itself. So after you get the uh, base coat on of your uh, sealer, I like to use the uh, primary colors uh, in the acrylic paints, and that's red, blue, yellow, and a little bit of white. So after you get the uh, base coat on, you want to get your uh, surface just damp. So you just get you a little bit of water, and just want to dampen up the surface. If you can see, it's uh, just just wet enough. You don't want it uh, soaking wet because you'll turn the filter into a wash. Uh, with the colors here on the uh, palette, uh, I start with a little bit of uh, yellow. Just do a couple dots, and I don't do the whole entire model. Just a section at a time. Start with the blue, a little bit of red. Uh, get there and you can go dark light depending on you how you want to do it a little bit of white and you can do different colors uh, uh, you know like greens and just whatever uh, weathering that you would like on the model to get the effect you want then with a damp brush again you made you what you damp the surface you're going to do it again and you're going to go to like a down motion you want to uh, blend in the acrylic paint and the beauty of it is you're basically uh, fading the paint and you're making uh, just a unique uh, weathering uh, almost making it natural after you get it wet like that take you a dry brush and you basically want to blend it in a little bit more And then you just repeat the process uh, wherever you want on the model and depending on uh, what different effects you want for uh, each uh, uh, section of the model. You, you can do the whole entire model that way or you can just do it in sections. And after it dries, it, you can uh, reseal it with a, a Future or a dull coat, whatever, and it gets you a, a unique weathering experience. Uh, if you can just see it on this side, it uh, faded down. This gives it a unique, uh, different, uh, uh, nice weathering effect. And uh, you can do, uh, not necessarily with uh, model color here, you can do it with uh, cheapo uh, acrylic paint. You can also use uh, the high-end acrylic paints and get the same effect. So that is a quick, easy way on how to do a dot filter with acrylic paint.